<clears throat> me, 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 meow. Okay, hello. Today I am going to show you uh, a very interesting item which you cannot yet see because I have not yet shown you. Uh, this was sent by Ore and it is a stylograph. Stylograph, I guess, because it is a French group of artisans so they have uh, french and english this was first available on kickstarter i'm just checking the date here i think it was last year um and the idea was that it would be a notebook with a pen that can digitize your digitize your writing as you go so it was a successful campaign and now i have one here to show you which is very exciting so this is the item hello um, take your ideas from paper to digital and this is how it arrived. I think this is really nice. So it might make you think that this is a really giant item. The front just has very minimal printing. So it's artisans of emotional technology. I guess that is because we journal emotionally. Okay, so I'm gonna lift the... This is the lid. Very exciting. Now what is inside is kind of important as it it is laid out the way that you should go through it so this is the so the first card says to tell you i mean tells you okay i don't know what's going on with my brain uh that you should take a moment to familiar familiarize yourself with this item so that you can understand how the product works so we will do that together you can download the app on your smartphone. Now it's available for iOS and Android. And from what I understand, they are working on doing Windows and stuff next. So we will see what happens. Proper grip position. Uh, I can't see. Launch the app for guided setup. You have to do that because that's how it, it works. If you want to um, digitize your writing like on the, on the go. This is how to charge. And the last thing is uh, how to change the ballpoint refill. There is a support page that you can go to and the link is down here. Uh, next up, we have the item. And it's in the nice cardboard bed. Oh yes. Now what you get is a, this is an A5 notebook. It is leather. And it has these two metal rings to hold your refill inside. And they have this... Oh, that was scary. Okay. They have this elastic. And inside, this is the refill that you'll find. Now, you can fold this back so it's kind of handy. Um, that's quite a bit of paper that it comes with. And what sits in here, which just fell out onto my lap, is the pen. It only fell out because I didn't have it sitting in the elastic, not because it slid through the elastic. But let's put it in the elastic to show you that it does not just slide out on its own. It's nice and snug, it holds it well. Underneath, there is a little really cute, like, trap door, but the item that's in here is actually not in here right now. It's the charging cable, which is a micro USB to, no, USB to micro USB. The journal, I said A5, right? So the paper is A5. The cover is a little bit bigger, so it's an A5 format. Smells nice, like leathery smelling. I like that smell. Um, this is very minimal branding. See the graph and on the back by Ore. You can see that the holes are pretty clean. Before I really start talking about this item, I just want to point out the elastic. So the elastic sits on this little eyelet to keep the journal cover closed. My issue with the elastic is that it's it's black and looks like one of my, my hair bands, like my ponytail holders. So, I mean, can you, yeah. So basically, it's a little smaller, but like the material is like the same thing. So for such a classy, expensive product, I, the elastic kind of kills it for me. I'm like, mm, it's my hair tie. And maybe if you don't have hair ties on your wrist all the time, you wouldn't notice. But um, I don't know, it's just not very sexy. So the pen is pretty large and it kind of has like a brushed copper finish. It is, of course, still quite shiny. And I've been using it for a while. And surprisingly, it's taking a while to develop a patina. 
So that's not a bad thing. Uh, some copper pens I've used like the Kara's Customs Fountain K and um, the Tactile Turn Shaker that was copper. They, they developed a patina really quickly so after just like a couple of days of using it, it was already changing. But this has not. Um, it has this little back thing which is where you charge put the charger in and uh, what I do like about this is that it's not like the Apple Pencil which you have to stick into the iPad I believe to charge it. It's, it's a secure charging unit and there's a little reset button which if you have really large fingers might be difficult to press because it's very flush in there so you can see that yeah it's like right in there and there's this little light I'm gonna turn it on because it's really cute okay huh and it beeps at you Oh. oh, you are getting sleepy. Entrancing to stare at. I'm assuming it's some sort of LED because I'm guessing it's going to last a while, but... Okay, the front has this little wood inset thing right here, and it's got the O for the ore, and the cap comes off. So this is what it looks like. There you can see that the little scanner is actually lit up, and this is your ballpoint refill, and all you do to change it is just remove it. It's a mini refill. I think it's just a standard D1. I will include that information in the written review. It's got a bit of a triangular shape with like rounded edges. So you would think it might not be comfortable and then you actually hold it and you're like, oh, this is actually decent. So if we look at the proper grip position thingy, it should be something like this, right? So it kind of rests on your finger and then as you write, the scanner can see what you're writing. So yeah, like that. Oh, so fancy. And the paper. Now, if anybody is familiar with the Ogami stone paper, there's probably other brands of stone paper, but that's what I'm familiar with, you will recognize it in this paper. It's got that smell, the, the, the stone paper smell. The thing with it is, it's kind of like a floppy paper, and um, it's quite smooth. This paper is lined with a very light dot grid, but it has a, it's a microprint that they refer to. And they say you cannot use other paper because the scanner can't detect it. So the front side is lined and the back side is blank. And what's really interesting is when you go into the app and you start writing on different pages, the scanner detects this. So it switches to a blank page versus the lined page. If you're one of the people that really hates messy home screen and stuff, I'm sorry. I just have to deal with this. Okay, so this is what the app looks like. And if we click it, oh, it opens. Now... It gives you walkthrough instructions on how to connect your pen and um, like how to set it up. It's very easy. What I wanted to show you was like how the app is actually set up. So these are the pages. One, this one here starts as lined and then it goes blank, lined, blank, lined. And it's really neat because I tried to confuse it. So I tried to switch the pages, but it knew. It just started a new page for me. That's really cool. Just to give you an idea, that's how it picks up your writing. And to be honest, it actually does a really good job. I think it, it represents my, my personal handwriting really well. So it's not like one of those, I, I think they were Palm Pilots where you had to write in a certain style, but it would kind of transform your writing into just the Palm Pilot font. Uh, this kind of holds like, holds your own writing style, your own penmanship. And I think that's really neat. So it is, it remains um, yours and it doesn't become standardized into a regular font or something so it's it's a really cool concept and I think it's well executed and executed in that regard every idea matters from the most personal to the most radical but they all start the same way fragile and elusive in our minds very romantic notion so the tools to capture them shouldn't stand in the way yet most modern tools for all their sophistication do stand in the way and none beats the simplicity of pen and paper Hard to argue with. I'm a pen and paper person, and if you are watching this, you are probably also a pen and paper person. Whether a digital pen counts as a pen and paper item, I'm not entirely sure. You know, it's in between. Um, so they decided to make a pen and paper ready for the digital age. Very cute concept, and I, I like it. I like how they have done this. I, I mean, I think it's well presented. It smells really nice. It's a very elegant notebook except for this. Uh, the pen itself, they chose copper because it offers lasting robustness and warmth to the touch. That is true. It does warm up and they, they actually say they apply a matte finish. We develop to prevent oxidation and offer a modern timeless finish. So it's possible it actually won't patina. 
Interesting. Well, mine has not so far. The paper is premium 120 gram mineral stone paper. And as I said, smooth to the touch. It's also tear resistant. It's also terrible with wet writing pens. So roller balls, liquid ink pens. Um, I would even say gel pens with micro tips. I would not use those because it's going to dig into the paper. And of course, none of those are going to give you the instant digital readout because they're not designed to do that because they don't have a wee little scanner and the itsy bitsy light. Ah. The one major downside, of course, is that it's going to have proprietary refill paper and the paper is not that inexpensive. When they launched the Kickstarter, uh, the paper was supplied in this. So you received 190 pages for $30 or 25 euros. I mean, it's not, it's not going to break you if this is what you're purchasing for a purpose, but I think if you're the kind of person who writes a lot or you sketch a lot, that is a cost you should factor in, that you will have fairly extensive uh, refill expenses as well as the pen refill because it is a very small refill. So that's not, there's not a whole lot to that. So you're gonna run through that pretty quickly. I have not run mine, like emptied mine yet, and I think the refill will not be as costly as the paper because you can get that anywhere. And uh, yeah, standard D1 type ballpoint refill is what it is. What can you do with this? Well, it's really neat. You can, you can scan as you write. Here is the first page and all black because of course that's the color of the refill. And you can change the broadness of the tip, the color in four different colors, and there is the ability to trans translate into different languages, but I have not quite yet figured that out. So maybe my handwriting is just not legible for translation. So this is the, uh, the scanned version, and this is the handwritten version. You can also, you can also kind of draw a bit. I mean, it's fun. It's kind of like an iPad Pro, but but in the paper way that you you write, but then you write on a screen. It's really nifty. So I tried to write. I tried to do printing and handwriting, and uh, I was reading Harry Potter at the time. So here we go, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Drew little hearts. It picks up drawings. It's really nifty. I only had one error so far, and there's a line right here that I said I did not draw this. But it's really interesting. It's it's quite accurate. And um, it's pretty cool. You can you can kind of do a doodle and send it to a friend because you already have it saved here on your phone. And the other thing with it is you can share it. And here are the other options in the menu. It's just like notebook, pen, handwriting, transcription. Oh, that's probably what I should look into. Yeah, check out these these languages. This is really nifty. So you've got Arabic, Chinese, and there's two different regions. Uh, Dutch, I added Dutch. Um, English, French, German, Japanese, Korean, Russian, and there is the option to add another language. So, and there's a lot. I don't know how this is actually going to work out. Email sharing is an option in the menu, so you can make your stuff, select it, and just share it directly. And there is an option for buy refills, so I'm guessing it takes you to a store. I have my airplane mode on right now because I don't want any weird messages to come in while I'm showing you the screen. That could be awkward. Nice leather journal. It has a fairly smooth finish, so it doesn't scratch easily. So if you're the kind of person that likes rugged leather that, you know, develops a lot of character, this is not going to develop blah, that much character immediately. So I think this is going to be something that's taking time. Uh, it holds up quite well to use because mine looks pretty new still. Sorry. And then the pen. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, their design philosophy, elegant, simple, and lasting functionality crafted with the finest natural materials. Cool. Um, that's about it. So let me know in the comments if you would like to see this steel graph in person, if you would prefer to have a discount code to buy your own, or if you would like to enter in a giveaway to win one. Very exciting, but just let me know because your answers will dictate the future. <gasps> okay, bye. Okay, this is actually really interesting because this is the pen. Here is my phone with the app running. So, I'm going to write. I did not use it properly for this top part, so it's not available on the screen yet. I'll, I'll post a screenshot of my screen afterwards. 
but I've written stylograph. I will write more and if you're looking at my phone screen I know it's kind of hard to see what's coming up because it's really small but stuff is coming up so I'm trying handwriting it's really cool it also makes my handwriting look a lot nicer than it actually is uh, this is stone paper I'm just trying different types of handwriting, like different styles, because it actually shows different styles. So I've done cursive, um, I have done printing. It's really cool. I'm taking breaks or making spaces between letters to see if it can still keep up. It can. So that is pretty neat. Um, here are all caps, and then small, and cursive. It's pretty neat! I'm kind of surprised at how fun and nifty this is. So that is the writing sample, and here is my phone. Kinda cool! Here is the... Okay, wait, that's not gonna work. Okay, so there is the notebook. And here is my writing. I'm gonna take it off the dock. Sorry. I just had it on the dock to make my life easier. Okay. How's that? Yes, yes. I'm trying to do this at the corner. That's pretty cool, right? So you saw it in action. I'll do some more scribbles to see how it comes out and see what it picks up. And you can also change the um, colors and brush strokes as it comes out on the screen. Me, 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 me. Meow. Okay, my brain just stopped working. This is this is what you see. Is that visible? Oh, that's probably not even visible. Okay, there we go. I'm really bad at this. I just, videos confuse me. Okay, and that is all that is in this box. So it is um, very simple. And that's all. So we can put the box aside.